Hi, welcome to this demo where we'd like to show you how to create a Kubernetes cluster on Ridge. We are going to create a Kubernetes cluster in the context of a project. In this example, our project is called Sandbox under an organization called TestOrg. We are able to create multiple clusters. Here we've already got Harpoon up and running. And if we want to create another cluster, we simply press the Create Cluster button and we are going to give this cluster a name. Let's call it Demo Cluster. And we can create the cluster uh, on an existing network. In this example, we can see that there's an existing network in a data center operated by Med1. Or we could create a new network while we create the cluster. So let's create a new network. And let's give it a name, uh, My New Network. And now let's choose a data center for this network. We can choose one of the private or public data centers or one of Ridge's edge devices. And we're going to choose a data center in Europe uh, for this example. Let's go to Sweden and uh, look for a data center there. And we are going to pick uh, this one right here. Now we can choose whether this cluster is highly available. That would mean that there are multiple master nodes. And this is an option that you would obviously uh, probably want to select in a production environment. You can use these uh, various Kubernetes versions that we have available. And we continue to add uh, additional versions as uh, CNCF certifies new ones. Now let's come in here and select some additional settings, like for example the master node size, uh, the CNI plugin where we support Calico and Weave. Uh, and you'll see here we can whitelist our API server. This could be done later on as well if we preferred. Uh, we can select the cluster subnets, pods, services. And uh, then finally, if we choose to deploy any AWS supported SDKs or any AWS supported applications, we can do this right here. We have a lot more details about this uh, particular functionality in our documentation. Uh, okay, let's now set up our node pool where we need to have at least one worker node. And let's go ahead and call this one pool one. Now let's go ahead and select the number of nodes, in this case two. And now let's select the configuration of the nodes. Uh, here we are going to uh, search around and we are going to select a small one. We support auto scaling, which we can uh, toggle on or off, including while the cluster is already running. In this case, let's start with it turned off. And we can uh, check this to get access via public IPs. Otherwise, we can use the service of a load balancer to access the cluster. We can add taints and labels. And once we have done all of this, we can see a summary of the cost according to the locations that we have chosen. And then we go ahead and press the Create Cluster button. What Ridge is doing right now under the hood is that we are provisioning the cluster, creating the network, creating the machines, and provisioning uh, Kubernetes. Once the cluster is up and running, this will uh, switch into a running state and we will be able to connect to the cluster and deploy our application on this cluster. And that concludes our demo of uh, creating a cluster. In our next video, we will talk about access controls and deploying applications on our clusters. Thank you for joining us and for watching this video.